What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and welcome back to my channel. And I am going to do a requested video today of a meal called a struggle meal. And I'm gonna show you how to take whatever you have in your freezer, refrigerator, and cabinet and make a meal. And so first, by us doing a cutback, we got a lot of vegetables in here. Lots of vegetables, as you can see. So I took this pack of four turkey patties okay i have been like this before y'all i have had struggle meals where i have had nothing but four hamburger patties and four turkey patties and i have took and changed it into something now you got three kids usually they don't eat one patty they're gonna eat two patties everybody in the house is gonna eat two patties when you don't eat a hamburger you don't eat two hamburgers usually i know this house does so four patties in this household with all three kids being home never could happen never happen especially when you ain't got a loaf of bread so this is what you do first off I cut up some onions okay and I already got me a pot started I cut up my onions mixed it in the turkey burger and I'm frying it on the stove Okay. I'm gonna add garlic powder, onion powder. When you add a seasoning salt, you can use Lori's seasoning salt. Lori, not Lori's seasoning salt. Lori's garlic salt. So I love garlic y'all this is the bomb.com by the way and um <clears throat> when you run out of pepper and you ain't got no pepper in the house i'm keeping it real y'all paprika is the one to go to all right so there you are that's the paprika it's gonna add great flavor yeah i know and we're gonna take this and we're gonna wait we're gonna brown it we're gonna brown it basically when it's ready. Turkey meat is really lean, y'all. It's real lean, and uh, you're not gonna find much oil in it. I almost wanted to put oil in it. Matter of fact, I am, but I'm not gonna put oil over in the meat. Over here, I'm gonna turn on this skillet, or pot, pot I'm using, a pot. I don't know, got me four slabs of bacon in there, which I had cut up. And it's not enough for me, so I'm going to go ahead and really four slabs of bacon, but I had just took and cut it in half so that it would fit the pot. And this is for, when this get done and it uh, gets finished, this is for them green beans that you ain't got nothing up in there but some green beans. And we're going to use some green beans, but we need that seasoning on them. You know, because we, we broke now, we struggling. So we ain't got no, um, what you call it? Smoked meat. We ain't got no smoked turkey meat and we ain't got no neck bones, but we got some bacon up in there. So we're gonna take, let this bacon fry up, okay? Pour our little grease off the uh, bacon and we're gonna throw our green beans over here, cut up some onions in it, and we're gonna put some chicken broth in there and we're gonna let that cook, okay? Because we got some chicken broth. When you know you ain't got nothing else in your cabinet, you always gonna have some cornmeal, some flour, you're always going to have canned goods. Let me tell you what I keep up in here to keep it real. Our church always gives away food. Now let me clear this. I don't need food. But, ain't no shame in my game. If there's food downstairs at the church give away, I'm always going to keep me a bag of beans on standby. Y'all, I'm keeping it real. Any household, uh, black folks y'all know this y'all always gonna keep y'all a bag of beans whether it's navy northern or pinto black eyed peas you're gonna keep you a bag of rice and we always gonna have some um mashed potatoes around so when you keep that you got a backup right yep and we hungry right now and you're always gonna keep a diet this coke. is what i do yeah <laughs> keep that coke but uh i'm gonna keep me some smoke some smoked meat on standby because that's gonna go in that crock pot over there one day when we ain't, you know, that's how it be. When you ain't got no food and you don't, but like, I'm gonna do this, you know. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. 
When you got cornmeal, keep you some butter, some flour, you always got a meal. I went out and bought these the other day. I was gonna make salmon croquettes. So it's a lot of struggle meals up in here. Or your kids will open this cabinet and say, mama, ain't nothing to cook, I'm hungry. But I can see all kind of meals up in there. I see salmon croquettes, I see beans and smoked meat, and I see right here what I'm making right now. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Never be ashamed of the struggle. Because if you don't tell nobody about your struggle and where you came from, then they won't understand where you are today and how you are blessed. And don't get me wrong. I'm turning my bacon down. I don't want to burn my bacon now. Hold on while I'm talking now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me stir this. So see these, these four hamburger, I mean these four uh, turkey patties, they're going to go a long way. You just turn this bacon around and how I do it. Uh, and do it all pretty so we ain't putting it up with bacon and eggs. You just want it done so he can add to it. And also I want to turn this pot down. I don't want no the bacon to get done so fast. Okay. So we do. Okay. So I'm going to turn that down. Let that be nice. And I'm saying, why that's browning. Always keep you some mashed potatoes. Now I got these at Gordon's. Got these at Gordon's. Gordon's, uh, they're, they're very good. Creamy butter mashed potatoes. And so, I'm gonna take, this is boiling for the mashed potatoes, you all. It's almost brown, but I like my meat done, so uh, I'm gonna uh, make sure it's brown, yeah. We got that seasoning just right. And I'm gonna take this and set it to the side because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make a homemade gravy. Yes. And we're gonna take that homemade gravy and we're gonna have it doused all over in this turkey meat. Because let me tell you something. A lot of people don't like turkey meat. But I'm, I'm teaching you how to use what you got, right? We got turkey meat because we cutting back. We doing a little different over here. But we pretending. We pretending that these are struggle meals, okay? Because this is what I actually will work with, with the kids. I got one onion, I have some chicken broth, and some flour. You all, like I said, you always gonna have some cans of stuff somewhere. You always gonna have a can of chicken broth, you don't know what to put with it. Um, you're always going to have flour. You're always going to have an onion. So I took this one onion and I'm going to use it four ways. I cut it up, as you can see, over into my um, my turkey meat. I'm also going to take it and use it and put some over in my gravy when I make my gravy. And I'm going to put it over in, um, what you call it, the uh, green beans when I make my green beans. Because I'm going to use it three ways. I'm sorry. I said four. But that's what I'm doing. And um, I want y'all to stay tuned as y'all see me put this together, y'all. And I'm, I, I gotta say this. No, we're not struggling. For the ones that come on in, they ain't got no food in their refrigerator. No, I, I, I don't have food in my refrigerator because I'm cutting back. And it is food, but it's not the food, everyday food that we would like usually to eat. Because that mug would be packed out with everything. I mean, every snack, every doggone, what you call it, what Tina? Pocket pieces and you Hot name pockets. it. You name it, you know what I'm saying? But, but like I said, with us eating different, you know, a, a struggle meal is what when you have very little food and you take and make a meal out of it. Like those four patties I'm turning it into. Ain't nobody gonna eat one patty, you know, on their plate. So you take and you, you know, you ground it up and you put it with some gravy and you pour it over some mashed potatoes, baby. And that's just what we doing. You gonna see, stay tuned. So we're taking with some 40 green beans that we have. Ooh, over in the skillet, y'all. The bacon I just fried. That's what that bacon was for. Okay. That's what the bacon was for. Put these onions up over in here. And then we're gonna season it 
You know me, y'all love garlic and onion. Period. Garlic stuff. Period. Put that around. And that's on Christopher Columbus. Tell him, mama. After I got that around mixed in and the seasonings with the onions and the bacon, y'all, pouring over the chicken broth over in there. I'm gonna pour the chicken broth. Just a little. You don't want to drown it out. Because guess what else I'm making that chicken broth with, y'all? What? Gravy. Girl, for real, girl. Instead of using flour and water, we using flour and chicken broth. What? <laughs> oh my God. That's how you do that? <laughs> she on X Games mode. So yeah, this is what we doing. So now we over here. See the little bit of four patties, y'all? This is gonna go a long way, okay? Okay. Period. Okay. It better. But at the same time. You only got a half a bag of potatoes. Yeah, a little bit of potatoes you got. That's all you, you got. You wanna watch that water. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pour some of that water out. Cause we don't want no runny potatoes. We can always add water, y'all, but. You don't want all that water in the potato. You don't want all that water, and you don't want all that water in that daughter. Uh -uh. You don't want all the you don't want all the water, daughter. And what I do? Garlic salt. Period. Okay. Now, actually, I didn't have to add butter because these are Excel creamy buttered mashed potatoes with skins. But I just love the little butter that you gotta add. So you had to add it. So this is a different type of uh. Potatoes, these are the little nugget balls or whatever. As you can see, I'm gonna pour them over in here. Period. Pour Period. It over in here. You see that little, see that on the back, a little bristle? I'm gonna go get mine. Like I said, you want mashed potatoes. And if they're a little dry, that's fine because, like I said, you always wanna add water or milk. You don't ever wanna put a lot of water and milk and drown out some. Some mashed potatoes, they don't be mashed, they be runny potatoes. And you don't want that. Okay, that so by these already it. being hot, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. A little bit of water, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. No water. Here it is. You see how it's running? Okay, because it's all we got. We, we got three kids to feed. Come on. I don't want them runny, but I don't want them dry. Period. And that is how you do it. Okay, I already seasoned them. I don't need to add no more butter or anything like that. These some good mashed potatoes, y'all. They had Gordon's, y'all. They call XL Creamy Butter Mashed Potatoes. Potato pearls. That's finished, that's out the way. That's sitting there. So what we're gonna do is take the plate and just sit it over that and let that be hot. All Meantime, right. you got your food over here cooking? Okay, that's brown enough for me. I'm satisfied. I am satisfied, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. Follow me, baby. Taking this batter bowl, and I'm pouring my turkey to the side, my turkey meat, into this batter bowl. But, turkey has no oil in it, so I'm gonna leave about that much in it. See that? Um. That much in it. Hold up, let me get a little bit more that much in it. We're gonna take and turn this eye down some. Put it on low. We're gonna add some oil. About that much oil. Cause we want an oil base too. Okay. Just a little bit of oil. Just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Yeah, I know. It's just enough to get that little fried smell. This flour is what's gonna make your gravy. Whoop. Whoop. That's why we got a broom. The more Ooh. the flour, the thicker the gravy. So, okay. what would you like your gravy to be? Well, we only got that much to eat, say. That's for three kids and yourself. Of course, my kids would eat first. Then I would. But, <clears throat> let me pour a little flour over in here. I never measured you all because I've been making flour, I mean, a gravy for years, so I'm gonna do it like this. Like so. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown this flour. We want this flour to be brown. That's enough oil in there for that flour. We don't want no greasy flour. No greasy flour, thing. Now this is the part where I said, if I ain't had nothing else, I had some cans of chicken broth left over from the holiday when you know you make those dressings and stuff and you bought too much chicken broth because you thought your dressing was going to be dry. So we be having some up in there or you just get them cans that the church be giving away, you know what I'm saying? And you take and make something with them. Usually I would use water, but I'm using chicken broth. So we pouring that over in. I want more gravy and guess what? If that's too runny, guess what I do? Some people don't do it that way, but I do. I can always add more flour. Once it's piping hot, I can sprinkle flour over in here and I can still thicken this and it can still be an even out gravy. Like I said, already seasoned and everything. So while I'm stirring that, I'm gonna let that sit. And I'm checking on the green beans right here. And that's another thing, y'all. If I only had like one can of green beans or one frozen bag of green beans and I had some corn, that's the time you could take and mix those green beans and that corn together and make you a meal boat. Okay. Now I got tops to these pots. And I'm going to use them. See how I got that? It's on a medium, so I'm going to turn that low because I don't want my stuff to burn. See this? The meat? Coat your meat with flour. Just a little. And stir it around. Because that meat is going inside that gravy. Period. I did not even know that. Period. Okay. That should get around in there real good. About where I want it. It's going to thicken. Once I pour it over in here. Get all the meat, get all the onion. We ain't got nothing now. We got to take every little piece of crumb we could get. We, we, we struggling. We're gonna make this a meal. It's a struggle meals right here. I'd have made plenty of these, didn't I, Tina? Mm -hmm. There was plenty of nights. Mm -hmm. And the best, the best meals though. You see how that looks thicker, it's thickening? See that? Mm-hmm. I got that on low. I may want to turn up just a little more. Because some I, you know, some ranges on the oven on stoves are different. This is electric, this ain't gas, this is gas pay. I like to be careful with my food when I'm cooking on the electric stove. Gas, I can control it. You can drown out the turkey taste because you're using taco seasonings and whatever else that you're putting in there. So you can drown the meat out that way, drown it out by onions and garlic, the taste of the turkey. Because a lot of people don't like turkey. The way I make mine, the kids couldn't even tell some days if I had to tell them like, y'all just ate turkey. Y'all just ate a ground, y'all just ate ground turkey and y'all didn't even know. So I'm gonna add some garlic salt to it. Or garlic powder. No, garlic salt, I want salt. I want a little salty taste to it. And like I said, y'all, paprika is the go-to when you don't have black pepper. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know something. I got black pepper somewhere. Too lazy to look for it. It's up there somewhere. So we're using paprika. Paprika. Yeah. Go, go on, sit down some more paprika. Onion powder. Period, yes. I love that oniony taste. Mmm. -hmm. therapy. Paprika. There. Hold it. No. I want you to go. Mama. Your back hurt. Tina's back been hurting her lately, you know? Because it's that time of the month, you know? Hey, Tina, did everybody need to know that? I mean, I'm a female. I just don't want you to make it look like I'm, I'm overweight and I have a back problem. Stay tuned so you can see how that plate look, boo. 
Y'all can see the gravy getting thicker, but, but guess what I forgot to add, y'all? What? Not too late, my onions. Got to add the onions. Well, look how thick that is. You see what I said? You see what I said? Yes, hunty. Now, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna tell y'all something. When y'all cook them good struggle meals, you a bad woman, okay? He was a bad woman. Now I'm going to turn it low because I do not, well, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't want it to, that, that heat is gonna cook those onions anyway, okay? One thing I don't like about really frozen green beans though, is they too mushy. But hey, when you got them struggle meals, you make it do what it do, okay? Like I said, we got the mashed potatoes sitting over here. Looking all fluffy. See there? You know, the secret to a man's heart, you all, it's not just a woman's body, not just a pretty face all the time, but one that who can make something happen. You know what I'm saying? For one, she's by his side. She can hold him up when he's down. You know, stuff like that she knows how to get in the kitchen and make nothing yeah I said it right nothing out of something make it something make a meal you know and sometimes a way to a man's heart is his stomach but like you know I got a good woman you know what I'm saying she get in that kitchen man I'm telling you she can make something happen you know what I'm saying men admire that they want somebody who could cook and Take what you give them, say, baby, this is all I can. What, what's gonna happen if your man come home and he be like, you know, hey, it was rough this week, you know? Keeping it real, cause everybody ain't, you know, everybody man ain't got money like that. Every man, every man, uh, uh, everybody's man, some, people, some men work a temp job, some men work at Burger King, but they doing what they can do to make ends meet. Respect that man if he come home with only a pack of bacon. Make something happen. Don't look at him like he crazy. You know, just take and make something happen with that bacon. No, I'm like, baby, look, I'm about to make you the best BLT sandwich in the world, okay? You gonna eat good, okay? And I'm gonna pack you a lunch too. You have two of them bugs, okay? So, I'm just letting y'all know that's the way to a man's heart is knowing what you're doing in the kitchen. And I ain't got a name to other. Okay, <laughs> it's a cooking channel. Can't talk about nothing else. Now it's about time to make them plates. You know why? Because them babies been waiting. And you've been struggling. They've been, it's a struggle meal. Like I said, I keep iterating that, okay? About time them babies' faces is drooping sad, okay? Or their tummy is growling and they tell you, honey, so it's about time to make these plates. Come on over here, let's get these babies. Let's get these babies some food. These babies is hungry. All right, we're gonna take them some mashed potatoes, them babies, okay? We're gonna take them green beans. Put it on that plate for them babies. Cause them babies is hungry now. Time to eat, baby. You didn't wait it long enough. Look at that gravy. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> I ain't gonna do them like that. I'm gonna give them a little bit more mashed potatoes. A little bit. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. Mm. Mama. See what it make them say? Uh. See what it make them say? Mama, mama. Ah! <laughs> there it is. That's the struggle meal. That came from four turkey patties. Now imagine one turkey patty on that plate. Who you would have been mad? You ain't got no bread either. And this is how I do it. E baby. Period. E baby. All right. Terrell went upstairs. I oh tell my God. Okay. Okay. Come on, real baby. That's how I do it. I got the camera in my hand now. Look. Y'all saw me how I did it. Take the mashed potatoes, put it on that plate. Cause by now, like I said, them babies' mouth stuck out. They mad now. Oh, but baby, put you some green beans on there. How them green beans taste, Tina? Okay, in that plate over there, Tina. 
Hold on, I'm gonna set it right here because I, I can I can multitask, I call it. Set that right there. Here we go, see that? You don't need a whole bunch. Look at that. That's more than four patties. And you could come back for seconds. Real Ray! He said, hold up, mom. And as you can see, at the end of the night, you got some happy babies. See that? That's all it takes. Don't take much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, I'm taking Tina and Terrell's line, TNT Squad. Give, it, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And hit the bell. <laughs> Sign. Oh, oh, mama. <laughs> Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.